always looking so scrum dilly umptious when <laughs> i start these videos hey lovies what the is up fam if you're new here my name is terry ann or ta and i am a connecticut based lifestyle youtuber my husband is out there and today is monday november 15th i really have to think about that today is monday november 15th you can still see my creative setup there kind of crazy Moving is not easy, you guys. It's not. It's hard. Um, and we have things to do. Mike is back to work. Um, he's working right now. I am not. I do have the day off. And I'm super thankful that I do have the day off. I took the day. I wasn't going to. But there's a lot that still needs to be done with the move and just with other things. So first things first is I'm going to have a bagel and everything and then take a shower and get ready because I have to take some photos for a brand collaboration that I'm doing with Modern Fertility. If you watch the channel, you know I've worked, I didn't work with them. I used my own money and I took the Modern Fertility test for my hormones when Mike and I were starting to think about getting pregnant. And it actually told me that my egg supply was low so that if I wanted to have kids, I needed to start doing it sooner rather than later, um, which we did and now I am six months pregnant. Um, so when they reached out to me to work together, I was like, absolutely, I believe in modern fertility. I think it's a good um, at-home alternative to kind of see where you are, especially since fertility clinics don't let you come in until you've been trying to have a baby for a year. With modern fertility, if you get some weird results, you can take those results to a fertility clinic and they will see you earlier than that. So that's a little hack. But um the point is, is that I need to get ready and take pictures for that. Then I have a long list of things to do for the apartment to kind of help us get more settled. I'm going to Target, going to get more hangers, going to get rings for the <laughs> shower curtains, um, measuring all of the closets, shelves, walls, and getting storage things um, for all of the stuff that we have and hangers and all kinds of things so it's gonna be a day I'm gonna stop by my sister's house which is usually like a long trip but now I'm just down the street not down the street but very close by in comparison to Boston um, because I remember if you guys have watched that vlog I got my temporary license so my real license is at her house so I have to go get my real license because I've just been walking around with this temporary one for longer than I should have honestly um, so yeah, I'm about to go shower and glow up. I'm gonna have hair. Like I got two new wigs and um, I'm ready to have long hair again. This is why, I don't know. I cut off my hair, but now I'm gonna have long hair. So <laughs> I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, you guys, finally ready for these photos. Um, I felt like it took forever, but like, I had to find things that I needed <laughs> and it's hard to find anything these days and then um, doing my makeup just I haven't done my makeup I feel like in a little while so it just took longer finding my makeup just I felt like it took long and it's 10 30 now um, I'm going to Target which I said before but I decided to go to my mom such my sister's place and my mom and I are going to go to Target together so I told her I'd be there around 12 30 1 o'clock so it's 10 30 now I'm going to quickly take photos and hopefully get out of the house sooner than I thought because my mom is also my parents are buying the crib for the baby um but my mom wants me to order it with her online so I'm going to get there and we're going to order the crib which is so exciting because it's going to be the first big piece of furniture that we order for the baby um, so we're going to order the crib and then, um, then we're going to go to Target and get everything I need. And I still need to do all the measuring. I didn't do any of that yet either. So really hoping to get these pictures done quickly and get everything done fast. Um, and then, yeah. So let me show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm going to have to pin. I don't even know where pins are. So this is going to be interesting. I'm wearing this pink dress from Shein that I got before I was pregnant, actually. And I got it. Why did I get this dress? I just like liked it and I thought it was cute and flowy. And it's a good thing that I like flowy dresses because they still fit me 
in pregnancy. Oh, you know what? And I never ended up wearing it because it was too big for me when I was like not pregnant. Um, and then one of the buttons came popped and it took like six months to arrive from like China. <laughs> so, but it's perfect and so cute now that I'm pregnant. Accommodates the bump very well, still a good length. So I think I'm just gonna take these pictures and I'm gonna wear this to see my mom. My mom's gonna be so excited. She loves seeing me in pink and frills and I was such a tomboy growing up. So every time she sees me like be girly, she's like so stoked. So, um, so yeah, I'm gonna get a pin because you can kind of see my bra, but my boobs, my boobs are out of control. My boobs are like doing things on their own now. Like they are just wild and large for me. I don't know. So I have to wear a bra is what I'm saying. I used to never wear a bra because I hate bras, but we're getting to a point where like I might get arrested, it's inappropriate, like I gotta wear a bra. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to pin this and then just quickly take these photos. So, yeah. Okay guys, I finished measuring pretty quickly. This is the outfit. I'm actually feeling super cute. This It's like when you move and then you start unpacking all your things, you find things that you haven't had in a little bit. Like this hat is from like a couple years ago that I found when I was moving. So super happy with that. This I got from Shein this year to accommodate my bump. I already explained the dress to you guys. These boots I got a couple of years ago. Mike's mom, I think it was like a birthday present or something. Christmas present, she gave me a gift card and these are the boots I got. So this is the outfit, feeling pretty cute in it. Um, I'm gonna head to my mom's. I'm gonna have her take some pictures of me in this full outfit because <laughs> your girl's feeling cute. I might even take the modern fertility box and take a couple of different photos. Um, but I'm gonna head out now. I did finish a little bit earlier than um, I expected, which is what I wanted, so. I'm happy, hopefully that means I'll be home earlier and able to get some things done. And yeah, let's go. Okay, I'm at my sister's. It's weird to be here without her. Her cleaning lady is here actually. She's gonna be our cleaning lady soon because I'm stealing her. Um, she's still gonna do my sister's house as well, but I did reach out to her and she is available. So she's going to be cleaning our place as well which is so funny because she used to clean here even when I was living here, when I was a teenager in high school. Um, and I always loved coming home from school and like she'd be here cleaning and it smells so good and still same vibes. So I'm gonna go say hi to her. Um, but yeah, we're here. Let me go say hi. The cleaning ladies were here. The cleaning ladies were here so Cooper had to be in the garage, but they left now. So we get to see Cooper. I'm gonna go let him out and and have our traditional crazy Cooper hello. So let's go see my crazy dog. There he is. There's my big boy. You my big boy. Good boy. Good boy. No, 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 Cooper. <gasps> Your mom's gonna see this. We have a lot of the stuff on the list, so we're gonna go check out now. Okay, you guys, I'm back home. It's much later in the day now. I think it's like almost 5 p.m., yeah. 20 minutes till 5. Um, got home, brought in the things, started on my closet, got like pretty far along with my closet. What I learned is I have too many dresses. Like my dress section is packed. Everything else, reasonable amounts. So, um, just did that and now I'm gonna do the shower curtains and Mike is essentially done with work. I think he's 
putting the spices in the cabinets and we're just gonna kind of do what we did yesterday and try to get some boxes yeah my plan is to create a so terry's probably covered up we have a closet that we think should be a pantry mm -hmm. um and we, we haven't converted it into that yet because we've only got one shelf so it's like it's a closet they live as a pantry you definitely need it to be a pantry yeah uh we don't have the shelving yet for that so what i'm gonna do in the interim is the things that we're gonna go in there so like I'll have an appliance box and a food pantry box. Stack them, put them in there. Oh, that's nice. And so then all those things the are they're, they're in supposed, the pantry. They're supposed to be in there eventually anyway. But they're in a box. But they're in a box. So that's okay. going to be my next thing to help clear out at least two to three boxes. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe probably more like three to four. We have so many kitchen boxes. So like all we've been boxes. doing is the kitchen, I feel like, and for then, the past few days. Yep. Yeah, so I'm hoping that having kitchen stuff out of the way will be like a nice reprieve for us yeah um once kitchen stuff's out of the way i have no clue what we're gonna do because like decor stuff is like basically up next in terms well, of well decor in terms, should... in, ter in terms of things that take up the most space in boxes yeah decor but we're gonna have to push should, to the set last yeah because decor you put on furniture and you right. put on things and yeah. we just don't have things yet yeah. to do that too so so i think we'll push all the decor stuff aside and attack the miscellaneous things, because we have a lot of miscellaneous boxes. We have boxes with things we're no longer going to keep. Um, yeah, yeah. So it's like putting things into drawers now. Um, there's just like a lot of random stuff. So many pots. So many different things. Like, yeah, I can't believe you brought this. Look at this. It's for holding cast iron. It's like the only one that's thick enough to hold cast iron. It's got the special material for it. Do you want to buy a new one, babe? Are Maybe. we poor? Are we poor? You tell me. Are we poor, Mike? Sorry, I hate to bring it to you. We're not poor. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. We're close. Well. <laughs> <laughs> We're trending towards it. <laughs> Unless you fix this dress habit. I don't know. See that? That was a callback. That was a callback to yeah. my shopping. With that being said, you're not going to be seeing anything or missing anything exciting. We're literally just going to unpack until our eyes bleed. <laughs> I hope one day we'll finish unpacking, maybe before the baby comes, but we'll see. I hope it's before we move out. It'd be nice. It'd be nice. Um, so, yes. we Also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but we ordered the crib for the baby, and I'm super excited about it. It's getting here by November, like, 20-something. It's actually coming super fast, like is what it said. Wow. Yeah, mm-hmm. So, there's that. Anyways, if you've gotten to this point in the vlog, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Um, go ahead, leave a comment. Leave a thumbs up if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, let me know how long it took you to unpack where you are because it feels like it's taking forever for us. Anyways, we will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Bye. Hey guys. I know I said the last clip would be the last clip, but we made so much progress with the boxes that I just want to show you. The place is still a mess, but way less boxes now right like you couldn't see the couch from here before now you can so we are we're getting somewhere we're making some progress happy about it i'm going to like go ahead and pick up and move things around and try to make it look like even more progress before we go to bed tonight but i am very pleased with the progress that we've made so far. So it's still rough, but there's there's some movement here. <laughs> All right. Bye for real this time. <laughs>